stressors. And, and the biggest stressor, as you, as you know, is inflammation. Um, and that's, that's especially true for those of us who are over 60, but it, it's, it's also true for kids who are really pushing it. Um, I had an opportunity to, to give a uh, presentation, uh, gosh, it's probably six or seven years ago, uh, to a, 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 a group of coaches and trainers uh, here in the Pacific Northwest. So these were coaches and trainers, uh, junior high school, high school, um, in, in hundreds of school districts uh, throughout Oregon and Washington. And so it was a huge auditorium and, and with rough, you know, over a thousand people in the audience. Um, and I asked them, I, I put a, a, a chart on the wall, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, on the screen, uh, showing the increase in, in injuries and in sports related injuries. And it was, it was one of those charts that you look at and you go, well, how is that possible? Because, you know, over the last 10 years, uh, it, the, the, the slope upward was just, you know, a straight line um, of increasing, increasing injuries relating to sports. So I said to the group, I said, so uh, I got a question for you, which is, <laughs> have you drastically changed your, your training programs? Uh, is that the reason for this incredible increase in, in sports-related injuries? Um, and I knew the answer uh, because the answer was, well, no, we, have, we haven't changed our, our, <laughs> our, um, our training. Uh, you know, we're still doing the same things that we were doing. Uh, so I said, well, then what, what's responsible for this incredible increase in, in sports injuries? And I, I let him think about that for a while. And I said, I, I know the answer. I'm just asking you if you know the answer. <laughs> and, and, and so finally, I said, look, here, here's what I want you to do. Walk into the locker room tomorrow and go over to the garbage cans and see how many, how many empty cans of Red Bull, Rockstar, and Monster you find in the garbage cans in your locker room. There's, there's your answer. Because because caffeine is, is pro-inflammatory. And, and these kids are not just drinking, you know, half a can or a can. They're slamming down two, three cans of, of Red Bull and Rockstar on a daily basis um, because their bodies, their little bodies have grown to require that kind of hyper-stimulation. And then you're sending them out on that field or on the, on the floor or on the ice or whatever, you know, sport you're in. You're sending those kids out there and, and, and they're so inflamed, um, they're, they're so prone to injury that that's the reason why sports injuries are increasing at such a, a dramatic rate. Now, you think I had their attention? <laughs> you know, because it's, it's important that you not only understand that, that, that you've got to help them deal with the inflammation, and we have ways to do that that are safe and effective, but you, you got to get through to the parents that they cannot continue to have their young athletes slamming down these harmful, addictive products. If every kid that you come across uh, was taking some Regenicare on a, on a, on a you know, weekly basis, maybe a couple of Regenifree on a daily basis, wouldn't do any good if we did that and didn't address the, the, the problem here 